Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all. So the opinion banger a new exclusivity you will definitely be notified. So Dylan White recently conducted an interview with um Hugo Cassius of IFA TV where he of course reacted to his loss to uh Pared King. Um I mean I have to say, uh, I was happy to see the guy in good health, you know what I mean? Because that knockout was vicious. That knockout put him to sleep. And um, and I saw, I mean, for him to recover quick from that knockout, it shows that this guy is, of course, um, a warrior, you know what I mean? At heart, you know what I mean? He's a fighter, no doubt about it. But there's something he said that just kind of caught my attention he said a lot of things but one thing he said that caught my attention which people are not talking about is when he said that uh you know he didn't get beat up uh like joshua got beat up by andrews jr it was just a one punch you know what i mean and it happens in the division and all the stuff like i was like okay okay you didn't i mean joshua did not get beat up by uh joshua did not wasn't wasn't beat up by andrews jr joshua dropped Andrews Jr. and wanted to finish the job and then got caught to the tempo which was an illegal punch you know what I mean let's let, let's let's keep it right there because Reese Jr. tried to use the same tactics that he used the first time in Saudi Arabia but it did not work Joshua understood already that this guy throws a lot of illegal punches and then Joshua you know went down a couple of times I mean three times or so but still was stopped on his feet he was still ready to go to war he never went out you know like the way uh uh Dele white went out and Dele white is saying that oh when he fought joshua like he was i'm not sure he was young listen i think styles makes fight and joshua's style is just all wrong for Dele white if they fight tomorrow joshua will still knock him out beat him badly because joshua is just too technical and it's just the wrong style for Dele white what was the take on this, um, Tajagbe? Well, I believe you're right. Um, Joshua Stalin is all wrong for uh, Dylan White. And, you know, Dylan White is, is he's been, he's been talking, 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 talking. And people have said he's improved. Yeah, he improved, but he still got knocked out. And I, AJ will probably deal the same blow to him when they fight, you know. He, he probably even worse because AJ has power in both hands and he can move better now, you know. But you can't fix what Dylan White's problem is. And that's his ego. That's his, that's his mentality. That's the same mentality he's had for a while now. That's the same mentality that kept me, that kept me from liking him. Although I felt bad for him from getting knocked out from... Um, from the fight with uh with Povyekin, but you know i i i wanted him to see him win because i thought he still had a, a, a very likely chance just like any other heavyweight just like andrew Ruiz had a chance i still believe he still has a chance within the heavyweight division to cause an upset amongst uh tyson fury or deontay wilder because that's just who Dylan white is you know he fights to the level of his opposition or he just doesn't want to or he just or, or or he just gets uh knocked out or he just doesn't perform well that's just who he is you know and then why you know all respect to him but sometimes he just needs to shut up and just you know and just acknowledge some things or or the way they are you know now him disrespecting aj it's like you know people are right about you the whole time and you will never learn you know and it seems like people want people want you out the way, and you know I will be the guy to defend Dylan White when it comes to certain people like Tyson Fury fans. But right now I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut and just let the, let him ride the wave on his own, you know. Much like every other guys, that's how, that's how they do. Some of them just just know, don't know how to keep their mouth shut, and it seems like AJ is the the leader that has to set the example for all of them, you know. AJ is, has always been the leader. He will never be the follower. You know? But let's see what happens in the rematch with him.
You know I mean like it's just it just listen. I understand that he wants to take the rematch. You know that uh, he should take it because he 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 he, 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 he had a rematch clause and for a reason. You know what I mean? I don't think he would have given Perkin the chance if there was no rematch clause. I mean, let's keep it right here, bro. But the thing is that for him to like say, oh, I didn't get beat up like Joshua, I didn't get beat up by like Joshua got beat up by Andrew, you know, is a total like. It, like that's a tra that's a shade to Joshua. That's train shade to Joshua because listen, Joshua is a humble guy. Skills skill wise, Dylan White is not up to Joshua's level. I mean, he needs a lot. For him to be Joshua, he needs a lot, a lot more than what Perky did to him because Joshua can easily do that to him at any given time. You know what I mean? So, but uh, I wish the guy not him for the best. But I just feel like all this, you know. You know, sort of uh, character, those arrogance. You know, those arro that, uh, the arrogance that he possesses for me is not attractive in a way. It's not attractive because as a fighter, I understand you have to have confidence. But being arrogant after getting knocked out like that, like bro, uh, shut it, man. Anyway, guys, stay, stay tuned for more exclusive bangers. You know, right here, BBC will give you guys nothing but bangers and god bless you all for those of you guys who have been subscribing to my channel to the channel i appreciate you guys and soon we're gonna be uh close to 20 uh 20k um i think we're at 19.9k now 9k subscribers you know a couple of you know subs to go before we get to 20k subs you know what i mean and that will make me the first or make us the first Nigerian boxing platform to achieve that. That is crazy, bro. Crazy. Stay tuned, guys. Cheers.